So good day five banknote collectors. This is Glenn back with a banknote from Macedonia. So I didn't zoom out. Uh, so this is actually one of my favourite banknotes. It's probably one of the best in Europe. Uh, Switzerland banknotes are actually also quite good. Uh, Romanian's banknotes are actually okay, but uh, this one actually probably takes the cake for Europe. And you go down to uh, Turkey and uh, they turn terrible. So this is a 10 dinar banknote from, right, they actually have changed the name of the country to North Macedonia with an agreement with um, Greece. So that actually unblocks their move to actually join the European Union. So you have uh, in Cyrillic Macedonia, uh, I think it's Bank of Macedonia. And then we have the denomination up here, Peset, Dinara. Dinari, and then we have the day, March to 18. So these are issued roughly sometime in 2019, I believe. And they actually do have the paper one. That was last, the last date was 2011. They also have a coin dated 2008. But I'm not too sure if the coin actually circulates. Quite obviously, if they've issued this banknote, it still circulates as well. So, this series was first issued in 1996, and it's a current series. And I reckon if they actually issue new banknotes, they probably will not outdo this one. So, on this side, we have, looks like a bust of, is that Marcus Aurelius? Could be, but I'm unable to identify him. So, if anyone knows who it is... Okay, so I'm still found some information on this. So this is a bust of Titus Flavius Philozena from the second century, and he was a benefactor and high priest of the city of Hercalia Lycestus. Now it's currently Bitola. And here we have a Ionic column. So Ionic is uh, Greek, so that's actually um, pretty much you know, the top where the column comes down to hold up building and the roof actually goes on top. And here we have a gold boat earring dating back to the 4th century BC. So it's nearly 2,500 years old. It's discovered in the tomb of a young priestess found in the village of uh, Berenki in Bitola. So in the same city as actually this uh, bust and then we have a bust of Isis so this at this time so this is the second century BC uh, this is probably at the start of the period where Isis actually went around the Greek world and then it later went around um, the Roman world so this was found in Ohrid and is a cult construction dedicated to goddess Isis and Isis was the fertility and motherhood goddess and a uh, protector of nature and magic and uh, so that's all these would have uh, uh, found in uh, Macedonia so Macedonia is actually uh, had a lot of Greek and Roman settlements as well as probably some Illyrian and there we have uh, a See through window of representation of a god, what are they called? Uh, not a liar bird, god, liar bird's Australian. Uh, peacock, that's it, that's it. And then we have some dots for the blind, which is actually quite good. Uh, you can see the security thread. And is there any no, that actually stopped putting uh watermarks on these banknotes, even though they can actually do it for plastic. So that's actually quite a nice banknote. And on the reverse, this is why I like the banknote. This is a beautiful, beautiful design. And this was a, a mosaic. So a mosaic is the floor. You actually have little tiles, you know, little... Um, you break up a big tile into small square bits and then you get different colors and you make a beautiful pattern this is quite common in the rich mansions and villas in the Roman and Greek world more so the Roman 
because most of those have, a lot of those survived, not most of them. Okay, so this is mosaic of the baptistry of the Episcopal Basilica in the ancient city of Astobi, 4th to 5th century, so around about 4th century. Um, Christianity was made the pretty much the religion of the Roman Empire. Look at that. See the column there? That actually joins up to form a full column top. And uh, that's a security feature. And this is just a beautiful banger. Have a look at it. I would actually like to see that in in a uh, where it actually is, and this is information about the actual uh, image that you see there, and it's all in Macedonian, so Macedonian is a Slavic language related to Bulgarian, some linguists say it's actually a Bulgarian dialect, but I'm not going to get in debate, it's more distantly related to uh, Serbian and Croatian, Serbo-Croatian, and even more distantly to Polish, uh, Ukrainian, Russian, and uh, there, there's a few other languages like Czech and that. But, you know, that's just the way life is. Just a beautiful bang though. How much would you actually pay for one of these? Well, these ones you can probably get for about $2, I would say. The exchange rate's about 50 dinars to one Australian dollar. So this one's worth about 20 cents. So, um, yeah, $2. And whoever sells these in Macedonia actually makes probably quite a lot of money because uh, as you know banknotes the lower the denomination the easier it is to sell but uh, you need to sell a lot of them to make any good money so if you're into beautiful banknotes this is one series you can get uh, this is the lowest denomination they actually have 50 100 200 500 1000 2000 dinars in circulation and uh the one that used to be in circulation is the 5,000 dinars, which is quite a lot of money. But the, as uh, they only issued that banknote in 1996 and they haven't updated security features, I don't think it's in circulation because uh, the security features are just not really up to current banknote standards. So anyway, this is a lot of... Uh, is it four? Four banknotes? Five banknotes. So you've got 7, 7, 7, 6, 7, 5, 7, 4, 7, 3. And in the future, hopefully I can do a video on the whole series. So anyway, I'll leave links down below to buy these banknotes on eBay. Uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Have an awesome coin collecting and banknote collecting time. Thank you and bye-bye.